I don't know if you can see what I got going on here, but I've got bows on the bottom. I've got a sleeping mat. I've got a reflective blanket. Then I've got my sleeping bag, which is only good to uh, minus three degrees Celsius. And I've got a uh, just a fleece liner on the inside of the sleeping bag. So uh, with this fire, I've made like a, a little bit of a long fire, so should reflect lots of heat in here tonight and uh, should be pretty comfortable hopefully. So it's about uh, quarter to six. Uh, should be pretty dark in another half an hour or so. It should be pitch black actually. So I think I've got enough wood for the night. So I'm uh, gonna grab grab some supper. Get grubbed up. Lay around for a couple hours and then uh, then try to get some sleep. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see me, but I'm all uh, tucked in the sleeping bag right now. It's, doesn't feel too cold. Feeling pretty good, but I got a good fire going too, so. But uh, yeah, it's about nine o'clock. So uh, yeah, wish me luck and uh, I'll see you in the morning. Hey guys, it's about uh, 6.30 now, just woke up. Uh, gonna get some coffee and some breakfast and head out. Uh, the fire went up. Looks like the fire is just about out there. Not much left, but the sun is coming up. But it uh, wasn't too bad overnight. Uh, a little chilly every now and then, but not too bad at all, actually. So, uh, yeah, get up and get some breakfast, I guess. So I'm just going to grab some breakfast and head out. But for breakfast today I got some more moose sausage. Some, I'm going to make some toast. Of course I got some coffee. Got to love the moose sausage here. I got uh, I had made, I had 60 pounds, 60 pounds of sausage when I uh, brought my moose to the butcher. And it always tastes best over the open fire of course. But, I brought two cameras today, my shitty old uh, digital camera right there. That's all I used to use at one point until I got this new one. I don't know if you can see the new one. Uh, while I'm waiting for my breakfast here, I just uh, wanted to give a couple shout outs to a couple of uh, American YouTube buddies of mine. Uh, it's uh, Gonzo from uh, Michigan, I think it is, and uh, the boss of the swamp from New York. Uh, both those guys have awesome channels, lots and lots of outdoor stuff. Uh, you can learn a lot from watching their channels for sure. I know I've learned a lot. So uh, I'll put a link in the description to both those guys' channels, and uh, make sure you go check them out and subscribe if you can. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well because uh, when I get 500 subscribers, I'm going to have a little contest or something on the go here and some kind of giveaway or some kind of prize or something. So make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. And uh, don't forget to head over to Facebook and uh, look for my uh, YouTube page. It's 13 Prevails Variety Channel. Uh, make sure you go in there and like that page too. So I made it through the night, my first uh, solo camping trip, first winter camping trip, 
and uh, first trip without a tent so wasn't too bad it was a little chilly here and there had to get up and uh, get the fire going again a couple times but overall it was pretty good it was boring once it got dark it was, geez, I was bored out of my mind had all had all the wood cut everything so I just had to sit here for uh, a little while and play games on my phone <laughs> So I'm going to leave this little shelter here and uh, I'll probably come back with the kids for a fire and stuff. So, or I mean someone else might come along and want to use it. So. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed uh, coming along with me on this little trip. Uh, I learned a few things for sure. So uh, don't forget to subscribe, like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks a lot for watching.